back with another ROM review. Here is the latest Darkest OS for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 which is called Community Tango. And this is a Tango build. And latest security update is available. Let me show you from the settings. So watch till the end without skipping the video. And here I am using the Night uh, Nothing OS font. You guys can see here. Just like dotted. Okay, from our section. Here is Android version 13 and Darkfest OS and Darkfest version Community 13 Tango uh, for OnClight. That means you guys can easily use this custom room on Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well. Some of you guys still keep asking me uh, is Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 both devices are same or not? Yes, both are same. So don't worry about that. You can easily install any kind of custom room which is support on uh, Redmi 7. You can use this on Redmi Y3. So I hope your doubt is clear. And here maintainer, I didn't uh, get the name here, and which is called Retard maybe. And really thanks to the builder for building this one. And platform version Android 13, and currently used Linux OS Plus, which is really really capable and really stable. I will talk about this later. Then we have the system as usual gesture. You guys will get a, a swipe to screenshot, three fingers, and perfectly everything is working. I already checked and quick tap to start action, and then quickly open camera if you need any shortcut. Then then we have the buttons USB configuration like this. You can select this one PTP or MIDI USB file transfer. You can uh, select any. Then we have Darfest updater. Then multiple user reset options as usual. Okay. Then digital will be a password and emergency. Then we have the security option. We have necessary all customization like uh, screen lock, face unlock, and fingerprint as usual. Then you guys will get here more security setting. Let me show you. And here you guys will get the app lock system. Easily you guys can customize this without any problem. Then we have wallpaper and style as usual. We have the regular uh, system and regular user interface here. But you guys will get uh, some like app grid here and system icon packs and system forms. Uh, you can access more forms uh, from the customization hub. But here uh, you will get like this, which call Roboto, Cosmic Sense, and Pixel. Right? Any no problem with this. Then you guys will get the display setting as usual. We have the regular customizations like other custom rooms have enable blare or something. Then we have sound and vibration as usual, regular customizations and user interface. Everything is same here. Now let me uh, show you here the dark space. That means customization hub and the UI is a bit changed here. So first of all, we have the status bar. You guys can see. Then we have the battery setting, clock, status bar items, traffic indicators, traffic indicators, and you know, Wi-Fi connections and calling, sound. Everything is perfect here. I already checked, uh, but due to internet, I cannot show you right now here. Here we have the battery style and battery percent. Battery percentage can be changed and battery style. We have use collection here. Which one you prefer, you can choose. Then we have the clock setting. As usual, you know what customization inside of clock settings. Status bar items. This is a regular thing. Then we have the traffic indicator. Just enable the traffic indicator from here. Now let's talk about the miscellaneous and which is very, very important because we have uh, small mobile type icon and separate signal icons you can do that uh, no problem with that and some things if you need like color notification icons and notification count you guys can enable that one uh, we have that things and if you want to go the further uh, customization just swipe like this and you will get the QS panel and here first of all we have the notification reticker if you want to enable then you have the quick settings and hide QS in secure lock screen that means if you don't want to uh, show your QS panel on lock screen then enable that feature and which is very important here we, you guys can customize background transparency as usual and QS header image can be enabled okay and text size levels anything and brightness slider where you want to show and brightness slider position and haptic feedbacks if you need which is really really good and also battery style battery percentage can be changed from uh, quick settings then we have button styles you guys can change as usual show QS footer text I already customized it just like this you guys can do as well and we have animation animation duration then interpolation then we have lock screen lock screen user interface can be changed 
Yes, we have this customizations in front view. Then we have lock screen shortcuts, ambient, always on display. If you don't want to waste your battery, then don't use it. System, we have general settings, unlimited Google Photos storage, and animation piece style, which makes your animation faster. Then we have the customization user interface. Uh, we have views collections. I am using this one, and you guys can use any solarized shishu nights and unmonet, whatever. Then we have here advanced monet setting. Then we have use collections of fonts. Which one you prefer, you can use. Uh, then we have the navigation bar style. Icon packs, all icon packs are available. Wi Fi icon packs, signal icon packs, everything is here. Icon shapes can be changed, which one you prefer, and QS style theme, shaded two tone. Just we have only three extra, or uh, rather uh, default without default one. Then this is the last one, which is called pulse, never pulse, log skin pulse, and gravity, and others. Okay that's it now let me talk about the smoothness and this is a G apps build so you guys don't need to worry about uh, flashing G apps and let me show you G cam is working or not and the smoothness is really really mind-blowing and perfect and this is the control panel and which is really really smooth and you guys will get all these features here here we have Wi-Fi and you guys will get a transparent look here and also you can customize it and here you guys can see that nothing OS look just like if you change the font you will get always like this and um, you guys can also customize this brightness slider position if I missed you guys can ch uh, check that no problem now let me show you gcam LMC is perfectly working so any kind of gcam you easily can, you guys can use I, al I already captured photos using this one and this is really fast and accurate and you guys can also uh, uh, short videos on 4k as usual uh, here we have the FA full HD and 4k option as well and uh, 4k 30 fps is available there and everything will work perfectly no issues with that okay then google photos unlimited storage is available or not yes let me show you that uh, here this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge and this is the thing and first time first day when i was using the rom i uh, just after flashing the room I tested this one and the CPU throttling was really really great and the kernel was really very stable so I recommend you guys to uh, use that kernel default one don't use other kernels and really really cool then we have safety net passed by default and I have other things uh, like Geekbench and which is also amazing and the first day when I flashed the room I checked both of CPU throttling and the uh, Geekbench score then which is single core 265 that means 265 and 1106 which is really really stable and good one and you guys will get really better performance from that custom ROM as it is a GFs build so you guys will get some extra applications don't worry about that nothing extra here we you guys will get that uh, player which is called Symphonica maybe okay you guys will get these things and by default we have the home settings that means the launcher which is icon pack can be changed just click on that plus icon and download from the play store which one you prefer then desktop labels and in that uh, uh, custom launcher which is from draft OS, you guys will get all in home settings there is no category so especially we have that hidden and protected application so you guys are getting all the features like face unlock fingerprint and app lock then hidden and protected application as well so don't worry about that and if i miss anything just let me know in the comment section below um, then if you want to know anything extra i will uh, provide you the answer on the comment section no problem and this smoothness is just good i found it better not only good because as a G apps build if we had the vanilla build it would much better so if you are really uh, willing to change your custom rom for some days then of course you can go with it thank you for watching